Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Marian Boutiques and tonight I'm going to show you how to make a printed pumpkin topiary. topiary. Um, I've made a couple different centerpieces over here. Uh, you can see those. I've got little, this is more like a frosted bling and then I've got one that I'm kind of doing a black and white very similar to this uh, centerpiece right over here. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do tonight using a little bit of chalk paint and I'm going to get my gloves on here so I don't make a mess. Um, so I've got a pumpkin that I'm going to start with and I've got some paint brushes here and some white chalk paint and I'm going to try to zoom this in so you can see what I'm doing. This needs to be right about here. And so I've got how I do it. I'm just going to take this chalk paint and kind of pour some of it out on top of the pumpkin. I've been painting quite a bit today, so um, we're running low on the chalk paint, it looks like. I can get it to come out. I'm just going to go around the top here. And then I'm going to set this with the lid back on it over to the side over here. And then I'm going to start pulling it down with my paintbrush. I have a different paintbrush here. Yes, here it is. So I've got a pretty good sized paintbrush here. I'm just going to hold on to the top of the pumpkin. I'm just going to pull this down along the side like this. painting all the way around it and this is a white chalk paint that I got from Hobby Lobby just going down on the sides just covering it as much as you can And so, since the orange is pretty bright on this pumpkin, it does take a couple coats. I'm only going to do this one and then set it aside because I've already got another one that's already dried. Um, but I am just taking this paintbrush and spreading it, as you can see, all over the pumpkin. Just getting all sides and then I pick it up and I start doing the bottom. coating it really good. As you can see, there's not much orange showing on top here, but um, as you go down the pumpkin, it's, it's showing. So you definitely need a few coats on here. It's styrofoam, so it is squeaking a little bit. Hey Christy, how are you doing? Thank you for sharing. Yeah, if you're watching this video for the first time, uh, first time watching one of my lives, please share. It does help us out quite a bit when it's shared. So I am going to continue just painting around. Christy, I love that uh, thing that you did the other day. The centerpiece. So cute with the scarecrows. And so now that I've got a good coating on this, I'm just going to set it aside, let it dry. It takes about half an hour to 45 minutes to dry. And since I've already got one that's dry, I'm going to go ahead and use this to show you the next step. As you can see, I've still got the top on here. It's got paint all over it, and that's okay because it will come off. I'm just leaving it on for now to hold on to it so it gives me something to grip onto. And so what I want to do what we're going to end up with is this just a black and white checked pumpkin and so for this piece I have a couple other smaller pieces that we're going to do too but I'll show you as we go so for this piece um, to get the checks where they don't look like 
them. They're all over the place. I am not a freehand person. So I have to measure. So I have a protractor. You can use a ruler, but I just use the protractor because I have one. And this is about four inches tall, right? Right here. It's a little bit more than four inches. And so what I do is I've got this fabric pin. It's just a, um, hey, Rosemary, how are you? Long time no hear from. Oh, yeah, thank you for joining tonight. I appreciate it. So um, what I'm doing is just measuring. And I'm going to go, so I'm about four inches high here from the top. So I'm going to make a couple marks. And just to make it look right, I'm going to do a three and a one and a half for this pumpkin. And it would vary from, you know, different size pumpkins that you do. But I'm just going to start doing little marks in the same place around my pumpkin. And then I'm going to connect the lines after I get this done. So, and this is a fabric pin. You can pick these up at Michael's. They're really nice, easy to use. One and three. There's a three. Here's a one and a half. It's one and a half and three is what I'm doing. One and a half and three. One and a half and three. And I just keep doing that till, until I get around the pumpkin back to where I first started marking. Now I've seen people who can do this freehand and they just make it look so easy, but my lines don't turn out right unless I do this. So then all I have to do is connect. So it's like connecting the dots. Whoops. And so you're going down and up on this pumpkin because there's grooves. So you kind of got to keep a steady hand anyway. I'm just going to take it around. And you can also use painter's tape if you would rather do that. So it's a lot of work that way. And the tape uh, doesn't, since the pumpkin is, you know, round, the tape doesn't always land just perfectly where you want it to. And it's okay if I get some marker on here because I can clean that up. This is just my guideline. You come this way. It doesn't have to be perfect because we'll come back and kind of touch up too. And you can also use this fabric pin to do some of the touch up once you paint it. If, if you've got a little corner that needs um, some black in it, you can use this fabric pin and just put a little black in it. It's kind of like a marker, but it's a it's actually a, a uh, paint pen. So then I'm going to take this start up here. There's this kind of a round circle outline there, and I'm going to pull it down. Hey Esther, how are you doing? So I'm going to start here and then just pull it down in the groove, just like that. And so the groove helps me guide all the way to the bottom. I'm going to do another one. That one didn't turn out real even, so I'm going to go over it again. Try to get them as even as you can. The quicker you do it, I have found out that it does seem to stay a little evener. And this particular pumpkin, it has really wide uh, humps or whatever you call them over there, and then really thin ones over here for some reason. The grooves are so much closer together on this side of the pumpkin. So it's just an odd shaped pumpkin. So I'm just going to pull them down like this, just going around, putting my marks on. And then up here, come back and pull it up to the top. Just like this. And like I said, even if it gets a little squiggly on you, you can fix that. So 
no worries. It's just a guide to help you. Uh, you can do it in pencil too, if you would rather, if you're a perfectionist. I know my last one I did in pencil. Um, but most of these lines will get covered up with a black anyway. So there we've got a pattern. And then I'm going to take where this circle is and I'm going to kind of go around it in black. And this is not necessary because um, most likely there'll be something sitting on top of here. But for the part that does show, if, if any of it does end up showing, it's nice to have this border here. So I'm just going around the circle with this black pin. It's the little things sometimes that matter. So I have a seam and this pumpkin seems to have a seam right here. So I am going to cover that up too. I'm just going to do a black line right at the seam. Just like that. All the way around. So after we get that done, and I'm not going to paint the whole pumpkin because it will take a while to do it. It takes a little time. I'll paint part of it so you guys can see. And then um, I'll, we'll start with the other ones. So I'm going to clean this real quick because I don't want it to get all dry and sticky. Chalk paint dries pretty quick. Set that aside. And then I'm getting another brush that has a slanted tip on it. I'm going to come in and I'm going to start painting. So I've got some more black chalk paint. Again, this was from Hobby Lobby. And so what I'm going to do is, I'll just show you a couple of them and then we'll move on to something else. So I'm getting right here at the line, as you can see, and then I'm pulling up. Get right in the corner here and pull up. we're getting a nice straight line there. You can also, if this line looks a little squiggly, you can go, you can't see it, you can go this way. Just pull it over like this. So for the most part, I'm just pulling it. Just like this. And so your first pass, you don't have to worry too much about, you know, if you make a mistake, because you can come back and fix anything on this. I'm just trying to be careful. And so I've painted this square black. You can see. And you can see where that line, this you know, the line I drew is kind of, it's disappeared because of the black paint. So as I said, um, those aren't necessarily, it's not a big deal if they're kind of a little squiggly. I mean, of course you don't want them all over the place, but so I'm just kind of going straight up, trying to stay in my guideline here. And if you wanted to leave a little white in there to give it that distress look, you could do that too. Um, just however you want your project to turn out. If you get a nice paintbrush, it really helps paint these. Um, so this one's just a slanted. So I'm going to start on this bottom one, I'm going to start down here and then just go down. Instead of pulling up, I'm pulling down. But I'm always starting at that guideline. I'm going to define a little better. And then just paint. Painting, I am not a painter, so... Um, and I don't have a steady hand. So this is not my forte, but these are going to look really cute. So 
So if you have a steady hand and you like to paint, you could really do something with these. So on the one that I previously painted, I had to come up and touch quite a bit to touch it up after I got it done. And, and touch-ups are pretty easy. Since we're using black, I can take my fabric pin and straighten about anything out. Okay, so you get the ideal two here, one in the middle, two here, and then so on around. So, so you got two here, one in the middle, then it's going to be two here, and then so on until you've painted your checked pumpkin. And so I'm going to set this aside because I already have one done. I'm going to set this here. And if you notice, I pulled the top out of this one already because I'm not going to need it. I'm going to set something on top of it. So I'm going to wipe off my brush real quick. And then I'm going to move on to my next piece, which is this. And I'm going to show you how I did this one. And, it, and you can tell like there's not a lot done on the bottom and that's okay because this is not, you're not going to see the bottom and you're not going to see the top on this one. So I'm going to pull out the stem, just like that. So I've got the stem out. And I have some little, here they are. I have some little pegs that I'm going to put in. These are just little skewers. So I'm sticking it in the top here. And actually, it's always good to put it in the top pumpkin, the pumpkin that's on top first, and then you can set it into the pumpkin that's on the bottom. So there we go. Now that's looking cute already. And then let me show you how I did this. This was super simple. All I did was take a pumpkin that I painted, and I'll use this one for an example. And you can do two things. You can take a paintbrush and just go down the grooves like this. And try to even it out. So you can do that to make those stripes. Or, here's my fabric pin. What I did with this one, because I wanted really thin stripes, is I took a fabric pin like this and I just drew right down the groove. Just like this. So I've got that done. And then I have my last pumpkin that I want to put on top. Let me get another one of my skewers. It's already painted white, but I haven't done anything else to it. No, I don't think I'm going to put this in yet, but I'm going to do some, do, some, do some color on this one too. So what I'm going to do is set my paintbrush there got this pin, this paint pin. I'm going to start up at the top and draw those lines just like I did on the last pumpkin. Go right down the curve and in, right inside the groove. You can see what I'm doing. should probably move over just a hair. And I'm doing it with each groove going from the top all the way to the bottom. But we are not going to leave it like this. All the way down. And this one, it does matter what the top looks like because this one is going to be sitting on top. So I'm going to draw a circle, somewhat of a circle. We can cover this up with leaves too or whatever we want to put on here, a bow or flowers or... So I'm just drawing a circle around the top here with my 
pink and And I'm bringing these lines up to the circle. So. Now I made a couple mistakes on this one as I was going. So I'm going to take, I have a fine paintbrush over here. It's pretty, got a pretty fine tip to it. And I'm going to get my white paint back out and touch it up before I do anything else. Because this one, it does matter. You can see I got a little paint there on the end of that. Right here, I'm going to touch up here and here. I don't care that I've got some white on the stem because the stem will get painted anyway. I'm just going to even out my circle here that I did. Doing some touch up, make it look more like a circle, and then I missed it right here, so I'm going to come back and paint over this. So it's okay if you if you accidentally, you know, mess it up. You can fix it before you go on. And there. So. Now that I have this done, I'm going to take my black paint and I'm going to go right up in between each groove and paint every other one. Try really hard to paint within the lines on this one. It's little smaller, daintier sitting on top. So I'm going to do this every other one. I'll try to do this quickly. You have to have a little bit of a steady hand to do this. I've got the pumpkin upside down at this point. I'm trying to stay in the camera. Focus. And I'm just going to pull it down like this. And my battery is getting low. I'm going to fix my phone before we go on so my battery will stay charged. There we go. And I'm going to finish this. We've only got a few more stripes left to do.
and just smoothly go down the edge of the pumpkin. Like I said that I'm using the slanted brush, it helps a little bit control the, the pumpkin line. And this stuff, this chalk paint dries so fast. And then so I've came to a dilemma. I've got everything done but the one. There's one that's not. So I've got two white humps right beside each other. What I'm going to do is just to even this out, I'm going to make one stripe right down the groove. I'm going to try to go wider in the middle. And come back in at the bottom and same at the top. So you can see we've got black and white all the way around. Set my pin down. And I've got another skewer here that I'm going to stick into the pumpkin. You know what I think I have? I actually have a um, toothpick I'm going to use because this one's going to be a little bit harder to do. push that one in to get it in. And then set it on top. And so there is our topiary. So thanks for watching. And um, if you liked it, please hit like and follow and then share. Oh, and we forgot one thing, or I forgot one thing. I am going to paint the stem black. I'm going to leave a little bit of white at the bottom make it look like it blends in. Just paint it back with some chalk paint. There we go. All right. So thanks again. If you like the video, please hit like and share. If it's your first time watching, follow, hit follow. And, um, and watch out for more videos to come. All right. Thank you. Bye.